Good morning, everybody. We are back Ready bright and early on this Saturday morning of game time. We have to go down the street here and pick up a load of live cattle. We have a very short time to get there. We have like three minutes before the load expires. I've been trying for an hour Turn in back. real life to get my microphone to work. And uh, it just keeps kicking it out for some reason. So here we go. So we're going to go down the street here. We're going to go down here to, to the farm, to turn right. pick up a load of cattle. Like I said, we have to hurry because we have like three minutes before the load expires. Right. Don't have a lot of time here. Hopefully we'll get there and everything will be fine. I've had to reboot the computer. I've had to do a lot of stuff to get the game to work again, but we're at, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Stay left and then turn left. Turn left. Hopefully we're not going to miss the load. We have like three minutes to get there. Game time. Get ready to turn left. And man, I'm going to tell you what. It has been a job trying to get this load. Ooh, again. Turn left. Hey. I love the idea that they put the rock and roll in here. <laughs> the truck moves around and you can... They say if you have the steering wheel and things, you can actually feel it too. Where the road is bumpy, they actually show the bumps where the truck's moving like that. That's really cool. I like that. Makes it much more realistic. Trying to hurry. I mean, I'm probably destroying my truck doing this, but... There's my trailer, straight ahead. See it? I like this, that they actually have it where you this can see the truck. Oh, uh, good for you. There's that guy still sitting there. Remember the last, the last time we came in here, he was sitting there. I want a job like that. Where can I get a job like that? Just sit on a hay wagon all day and not do much of anything but just sit there and whatever he's doing. I don't know. Is he smoking? I hope he's not smoking on a hay wagon. <clears throat> I hope not. Okay. okay. Here we go. We're heading down to Redding. We're going to head down to Redding, California. We have about a four hour and four minute flight. We'll be traveling at an altitude of about eight feet. Just kidding, folks. Just kidding. But yeah, we have about four hours and four minute ride. We did get the load though, didn't we? At least that was good, huh? Didn't get here too late to pick it up. It's 10.22 a.m. What the heck? It did take us no four hours to get here. What the heck? Okay, we lost four hours somewhere, folks. Okay. And our GPS is not working down there for some reason. It was not moving. It was like... Let us kind of just sit there. Yeah.
stay left and then turn left. Turn left. Okay, we are heading down to Redding, California. Like I said, it's about a four-hour drive. Not sure why we're at 10.24 a.m. when we were at 6.15 a.m. I'm not sure why it took four hours to pick up this trailer. It was already loaded. Um, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But okay. So we lost four hours there for some reason. We were in Coos Bay, and I came back in once again. What the heck? Oh, here we go. Stay right. Didn't turn on my lights again. Right. Okay. Okay. Turn right. Didn't have the lights on again. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Okay, they're on now. Okay. Okay. We're off to a great start. We have a red light violation, a headlight violation. What's next? What's next, folks? I always forget to turn on them headlights. Huh? I don't know why, but I always forget to do that. I guess because in my real life car, they come on automatically when I start my car. Okay, now we are going to... Mostly, I believe this is going to be the interstate, I believe. We shouldn't have a whole lot of... Hopefully not a whole lot of starting and stopping. And Hopefully. I say that because there can always be accidents or detours or... All those things they throw in the game, aren't there? do have it on cruise control so hopefully we'll be all right 174 miles to go the sign just said 170 but apparently we're going four miles beyond that way station great one thing i've noticed in this game is that i've never had an overweight ticket at the way station even though, even though there have been times when I've been overweight, well, the truck too. Hopefully we'll be okay on the fuel. I didn't think to get fuel. We have a little bit under a full tank, so hopefully we'll be okay and not have to stop somewhere and get fuel. But we can if we have to.
stay right, and then exit right. Oh, agricultural. Okay, we'll go. Exit right. Must be coming into California because they do those things going into California in real life, too. I'm looking down here at the keyboard instead of paying attention here. Trying to get the cruise control working and wasn't paying attention, kind of ran off the road a little bit there.
stay left. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Well, we have about 44 more minutes. Don't you wish when you're driving a truck the time would go that fast? At other times you wish it would slow down. Yeah, that's the way it is, folks. Again, I don't turn right on red because each state is different. And I don't know the laws in every state, so I do not turn right on red. Stay left, and then turn left. Turn left. That was a really quick 10 minutes, wasn't it, coming from the highway down to here? I do know we have a garage in Reading because when I first started playing ATS, that's where my home base was. And I know that I own all of the garages now, so I know we have a garage in Reading. And it is uh, still in the morning. We may not... Uh... Well, that's interesting. I just noticed something. I kind of got cut up in the middle of my sense cups. Just looked down at the time on the GPS at the bottom of the screen by the steering wheel. This four-hour trip only took us an hour. So apparently the, something's changed somewhere, right? Something's weird. Because it was 6.30, it was about 6.15 in the morning when we picked it up. It was a four-hour run. Guess what? We're right on no schedule. Straight. Okay, so the clock was wrong. It wasn't 10-something, it was 6-something. For some reason, the clock said 10-something. Okay, that explains it, folks. We are right on schedule. I thought we were four hours late, but it didn't. So, I don't know. Not sure what's going on with that. But we are right on schedule. We could probably pick up another load out of here today, which would be the next video. Maybe. Sort of, kind of. I don't know. I hear trains. Do you hear trains? One of the things in the 1.47 is they did, they did have more background noises, trains and uh, businesses and traffic and things that uh, enhances the game.
But right up here on the right, we're going to be turning in and dropping Get these cattle. Turn right. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Decoupling the trailer. Okay. Let's do this while we're doing that. We're late. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That is very interesting. 